Here is the easiest method to defeat the stapler boss in Paper Mario the Origami King broken down into what to do turn by turn. Normally when you're fighting this boss if you use the hammer attack that'll get rid of one staple. If you use a jump attack you can get rid of up to four staples. Then the boss will use its special attack on you, you'll take damage. It'll switch to red staples and gold staples and you'll take all kinds of damage. But here is how to beat the stapler boss in just four turns. In the first turn, what you'll want to do is line up your panels so that you pass by an A plus one panel and you finish on an attack panel. When you get to the attack panel, you'll want to press R to switch to your items and use two shiny fire flowers this turn and you could get the action command for every single attack. The way that I do this is I look closely at the screen and whenever you see the fireball appearing or when the fireball starts to get big, that's when you press the A button. And if you press the A button sooner, then that will make you attack more quickly. When it's the enemy's turn, it's really, really, really important to block these attacks because if you don't block these attacks, then you'll take a lot of damage, you'll get stunned, and the fight will take longer. What I do as my cue to make sure that I block at the right time is first it looks like the stapler is going to come down at you, but then it hesitates for a moment, it lifts up slightly, and then it starts to come down at you. And that's when you press the A button to block. In the second turn, you'll want to line up the panel so that you pass by the treasure chest and you again finish on an attack panel. When you get to this attack panel, again, you'll go to your items and you'll use a shiny fire flower again, and you'll want to get every single action command again. When it's the enemy's turn this time, it seems like in the second turn the boss has a slightly different dog tag attack, and what I do is after I block the first time, I just keep mashing the A button to make sure that I could block the second attack as well. Because again, you really want to block these enemy attacks, otherwise you're just taking unnecessary damage and the fight is going to take longer and you might even run out of HP if you don't have high HP. It's now turn 3 and the boss will start glowing, being ready to use its special attack. What you'll want to do in this turn is line up the panel so that you pass by an on switch and you finish on a thousand fold arm magic circle. Once you get there, you'll activate it, hold R and L, and then mash the A button to do lots of damage and knock out some staples. The boss will do its special attack and you'll want to press the A button to block this. You'll take a lot of damage, but if you block then you'll be able to take a bit less damage here. Normally, if you're doing this fight using a different method, then you'll want to try to get as many jump attacks onto the boss as you can, to get rid of as many staples as you can, to take the least amount of damage as possible. And you might have to do this if your HP is low, but this is the method that we are using for doing the boss very quickly. Turn number four. If everything was done perfectly up until this point, and if you're able to do this turn perfectly, then this will be the end of the boss fight, and you won't even have to fight the boss with its red staples and its golden staples that do more damage. What you'll want to do in turn four is line up the panel so that you pass by an X2 panel and an A plus one panel and you finish on an attack panel. The A plus one panel will let you attack twice in one turn. The X2 panel will let you do double the damage in one turn. So once you get to the attack panel after passing both of these panels, you'll want to use legendary iron boots for both of your attacks and you'll want to get every single action command and after the second attack on the fourth jump that will defeat the boss. So here is how to defeat the stapler boss easily in just four turns. I hope this guide has helped you. Please let me know in a comment if this guide was useful to you. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content and enjoy your game.